Welcome to Real Hope, a monthly video series for 2024 that will feature real stories from real Mississippians of hope, recovery, and resiliency. Each month, we will hear from someone who's overcome an obstacle in their life with the help of services and supports in our state. My name is Danny Blanton, and I work uh, with the Mental Health Association of South Mississippi as the forensic recovery coach, developing a, the forensic recovery program to help incarcerated and previously incarcerated individuals uh, with their re-entry into society and hopefully try to put a dent in the recidivism rate. I you know, grew up in the Mississippi Delta, to spent 25 years in the Army, and I grew up in an environment where alcohol was not discouraged but expected, and I became plagued uh, with alcoholism and when I returned from Afghanistan in 2012. Alcoholism grew to the point where it, uh, it took precedence over everything in my life. All I really ever thought about was when, I, when could I get my first drink. I may have lost everything that I had, but I hadn't lost everything that I could have and could be. The best course for me is to try to help people who have made the same mistakes that I've made. By telling the story of how I've come through what I've experienced, that may serve as a survival guide for someone who's experiencing the same thing. And so that's what I'm doing now, and, and that's what I'm committed to. I'm three years sober now and um, my life is so much better. I've got peace of mind now. I'm able to go to sleep at night and not pass out, and I have a lot to be grateful for. I'm able to focus on the task that I've, that I've put in front of myself. There's a clarity and, and the purpose for my life that I really never had before. And thanks to the Department of Mental Health and thanks to the Mental Health Association of South Mississippi and others who uh, are working to help people who have uh, had experience with the criminal justice system, I'm able to focus my life on something that's not only going to help others but could potentially create a legacy. By making more people aware of the resources available in Mississippi, we can ensure that more stories of resiliency and recovery are created each day.